ഓം അജ്ഞാന ചിമിരാന്തശ്യ ഞാനാഞ്ജനാ സലാഖ്യ ചക്ഷൂരൂൻ മിലിത്തം ഏന തസ്മൈ ശ്രീ ഗുരവേ നമഹ നമോ ഓം വിഷ്ണുപാദായ രാധികായേ പ്രിയാത്മനേ ശ്രീ ശ്രീമദ് ഭക്തി വേദാന്ത നാരായണായി ദിനാമിനേ നമോ ഓം വിഷ്ണുപാദായ കൃഷ്ണപ്രസ്ഥായ ഭൂത്തലേ ശ്രീമതെ ഭക്തി വേദാന്ത സ്വാമി നിധി നാമിനെ വാഞ്ചാ കൽപ ചരുച്ചേച്ച കൃപാ സിന്ധൂപ്യ ഏവച പതിതാനാ പാവനേപ്യോ വൈഷ്ണവേപ്യോ നമോ നമഹ ശ്രീകൃഷ്ണ ചൈതന്യ പ്രഭു നിത്യാനന്ദ ശ്രീ അദ്വൈത ഗദാദ ശ്രീവാസാദി ഗൗരഭക്ത വൃന്ദ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ ഹരേ കൃഷ്ണ 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 ഹരേ 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 രാമോ ഹരേ രാമോ 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 ഹരേ now it is almost middle of the spring we see all the trees are blooming with the new leaves and so many colorful flowers everywhere throwing up so much of pollen everywhere too while it may be really kind of miserable condition for those who have allergy but the bottom but the bottom line is spring is a wonderful time especially in devotional activities so now the holy which i am going i really want to to speak about little is so unique because holy represent three things actually the spring the colors and love okay so holy is actually now getting getting celebrated throughout the world it's not only even though it was originated in india but it has really gone all over the world so now t- let us stay one by one spring what is spring end of winter that signifies end of sufferings also also it signifies end of sins and after killing you know also it signifies that you really kill all the evils and evil thoughts and you really you really going to be blissful and celebrate that is holy second one is colors everywhere you see there are trees with new leaves coming coming on the trees and with colorful flowers bloom and the third one is love our heart also blossoms with love and affection to every jeeva so this is a unique this festival is having a unique position bringing all these three things together while the first two are external and related to the world and our environment the third one is the most significant because it is associated with the real nature of our soul it is all about love it is so it is to forget and forgive others it is to forget the differences among us it is to bring out the tender heart and extend it and offer our love to everyone rich or poor child or adult tall or small it doesn't matter holy is also known for repairing any broken relationships because we human or human beings are you know are you know have a lot of defects and we, we we make mistakes so by mistake we actually break somebody's somebody's feeling so this holy is also a way of repairing that any broken relationships so the love is the most important thing in holy this love actually has a divine source where is coming from where is this love coming from all our loving feelings point to that one original source that original divine love implies the divine love of whom radha krishna who else their love is the most pure and the origin of all the loves in all the three worlds especially we can see it in the love of a mother because a mother has a pure a, 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 a trace of their pure love a trace only only mother's love a mother's love is simply unconditional without any expectations but a mother's love is just a little trace of their original love that i am so to the that i mentioned so the second bullet was about end of winter and end of evils and cleansing ourselves repairing the relations and so many things so there 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 this aspect 
He is also coming in holy, in a way called Holika Dahana. Okay, so this Holika Dahana is starting on that, that particular Purnima that was chosen by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also to appear. That's how I am going to link now. So, this, this Purnima that actually was just, just the, 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 the evening of the Purnima is where this Holika, this Holika Dalana is starting. That is evening of Gaura Purnima. So, Goli, who is this Holika? Holika was the sister of Hiranyakashipu. Holika was evil personified and she tried to help her brother to kill Pragalad Maharaj. Actually, Pragalad Maharaj was like her own son. But what an atrocity was that. Where is the trace of any love in her? She was a Rakshasi. So, Holika had been granted a boon that had, you know, made, made her immune to fire. But she got burned to death as the boon was not applicable because, you know, because she was entering not alone. She was entering with another one and especially Pragalat Maharaj who was, <laughs> was, a, was a high bhakta who kept chanting the holy names of Lord Narayan. So, he, he came un, unharmed where the Holika was burnt. So, the love of Parikshit Maharaj for Lord Narayana is so powerful that Pragalat was actually feeling bliss and in spite of the, the blazing fire that was burning Holika into ashes. So, Bhatti is very powerful. That day when Holika Dahana is done, is also called Choti Holi. Choti Holi, small Holi I think Choti. You know, and is the starting of the real big Holi on the next day. As holy is related to love, any anarthas, because why we, why our love is not coming out? We are by inherent nature of the soul, we are pure, you know, in our pure form, our love is, is directly to, 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 to that Radha Krishna, divine couple. But why that is not, not showing up? Is that why it is hidden? Because it is covered by these anarthas, these evil, 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 evil propensities are there. That is, that need to be burned. So that burning or of our unwanted desires, all the dirts and all the bad habits and bad qualities, the burning is called anartha nivritti. So all the burning and killings of bird thing is, is this anartha nivritti and that is a significant, one of the significance of this holy, this especially this Holika Dakana. That Choti Holi also signifies the killing of demon Hiranya Kashipu. So, by celebrating Holika Dakana plus Hiranya Kashipu Bata, the killing of Hiranya Kashipu by Lord Narishma we are committing to also burn or kill our Anarthas. And wanted things again, spiritual progress. So holy is actually meant for, you know, for us to realize that we have to come up that, you know, we have to burn that anarthas and come up with the pure love. Okay, so, so we have seen that in the in the nine levels of Bhakti Lata. Right? We really have, really got the class. Adho Shraddha, Adho Shraddha, Tadha Sadhu, Sangota Bhajana Kriya, Tato Anartha Nivritiksha, Tato Nishta Ruchishta, and, and goes on. That, that Anartha Nivriti is that burning. The Holika Dahana is, that day is for Anartha Nivriti. Because if we don't kill our, our Anarthas, how can the love comes? So that is why the eve of that Purnima, we are actually taking care of this Anartha Nivriti by symbolically burning this Holika and also absorbing and, and remembering the Bata of Kriniyaka Shippu. That is how it really matters there. And the next day is a Holi, next day to Holika Dahana or, or the Choti Holi is the Rangwali Holi. This Rangwali Holi is the very very famous because this is the, this represents the, the love actually coming and getting expressed to everyone throughout the, throughout the world. That is why we reach out. 
we laugh, we play, we joke and we embrace. Doesn't matter whether he is rich or poor or child or small or tall or doesn't matter at all. We, you know, we embrace everyone. So, if we see the theme and tradition of Holi, we see this Anartha Nivritti and Anartha Nivritti and then love is Prema, encapsulated. This is the Holi, but do they really think that way? That is a question. That is what it is meant for. So the core of Holi is love for all. Some people may see it as a weird festival when people spray colors all over. But what is the way, you know, that is the way the, that is the way the love is, um, you know, expressed. No difference to, to one's color. Look at here. All the colors are there. All the colors are there. So there is no color. There is no caste. There is no nation. There is no creed. There is no concept of child or adult or rich or poor or profession. Nothing. Everyone is equal. In front of love. You see, we are all love. See, we are all the our soul. He is really just shining with love. That love is our pure form. So all the colors come together, join and no difference. Yes, we are all jivas, came from the same Lord. And hence we are all of the same spirit, no difference. Now, but here is the, here is the holy celebrated by devotees all around the world actually, if you see. It is a unique time to freely reach out to everyone. As I mentioned, no boundaries at all. Rich or poor or child, adult, small, tall, no difference at all. So that is the beauty of Holi. And now, and it is also amazingly, that is the same the time Lord Gauranga Mahaprabhu selected to appear. He selected to appear on that, that particular Purnima, which is where the Holi is starting. So what is the significance there? It's so amazing. He appeared on the same full moon Gaura Purnima, when the Holi festival actually starts. Why did he select? Because Holi is associated with love or Prema. And Prema or pure love is the property of Radharani. That is when even the mother's love, no, look at, it's all coming from there, it's only trace, little trace. Then how, think, think how she is. She is so much of prema on Krishna and so much of mercy on all the jivas who are all, who are all came from them only. So the original prema is that of Radharani for Krishna. And that of, that is, is what actually con, you know, controlling Krishna. So Radharani's love can really just stop, stop Krishna. That is it. He may be the lord of everything. But with that, that prema, love, Radharani, that's it. Krishna is it, just bound. So now as Gauranga Mahaprabhu came down in the mood of Radharani, it is so fitting to appear on this Purnima associated with the Holy. So that is what I am trying to, to relate. He said, I will teach the whole world about divine love. I will teach the whole world how to get that love. I will teach the, the people about pure bhakti. This pure bhakti will take the qualified jivas to my loka. I will also become a sannyasi so that my preaching will be heard. My name will be Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Bhakti Yoga Pradhanaya Sanyasa Rupamastaya Krishna Chaitanya Nama Trik. My eyes will be filled with the tears of Prema. For whom? For myself, Krishna. The hairs on my body will stand erect. Thus I will give the people the gift of pure love. Saying this, he appeared on the starting day of Holi. See, look at that. See, see that, that, that he appears, all the Anartha Nivriti is done and the next day he is you know, blooming with, with pure love. So this is how the significance is, is there. Why Lord Chaitanya chose the Purnima associated with Holi? Let us trace the origin of this Holi festival. When did it, when did it start? It all goes to a village called Ganduli. This Ganduli is in Vrindavan. It is about one mile from another place also related. It is called Gulala Kunda. 
this gulala gunda is closely associated with holi the word gulala means powdery or bright red pigment they use lot of red color all of all, all colors so they all used in the usually you know they all the in the religious ceremony they use kumkum and all the, all the red powder main, mainly so this name is actually bright red pigment so the name came from the colorful waters and powders sri radharani and gopis and gopas and they all were celebrating the holy festival here so that is all starting from gantuli that is the village they started and then after that what they did was they actually went to this that kwalala kwalala kunda and they really took bath so that also became right so in this month of palguna that is you know february march time at the holi all the gopis were present there in gantuli grama playing holi with sri krishna and the gopas so the, so so krishna and gopas were on one party and sri mad radhika and their sakis were on the opposite party and there were more gopis than gopas that was it, it was said but anyway that so the whole place and even the creatures because they were playing and it was so so much even the creatures they were all coming here they all became reddish because they were throwing all kinds of so much of quantities of red powder so the sky became red the trees became red the cows who were walking there you know that tender you know they also became red the deer who who just came to see this this fun they also became red and the birds who were also coming and chirping and chirping, they also became red all the beings anything that really is you know, even crawling every one became red and especially the gwarala kunda became so reddish because why because they actually took back there finally okay so this is the what you are seeing is the full picture of the gulala kunda now there is something very secret i will tell you this is amazing in this kunda other times you know that doesn't happen on the day of gaura purnima exactly on that day gaura purnima the birth time of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu a stream within the kunda becomes reddish and you can be seen by all even even today even now you, you go for go on that day kavara purnima i okay only on kavara purnima there will be a stream will be actually coming there and you know that will be actually reddish it is there in the same kulala kunda the holi is a big celebration you know all the radha krishna temples the entire brindavan can be seen so amazingly colorful This is a holy celebration in the Bangay Bihari Temple, Brindavan. You won't believe how that will be after this. What is this? Completely all colors everywhere. And this is another scene in the same you know, Bangay Bihari Temple. And this is the holy in Barshana Temple. In Barshana Temple, they also celebrate one more thing. That is called Lakshmar Holi. Lakshmar Holi means what that means is there is a history behind. so these you know these gens will be really um, you know the I mean, basically decorating themselves like like krishna and with all the whatever the dress they have. so they will also carry a small thing to you know small round thing whatever they have and the the ladies and girls they they will be actually carry, carrying a you know the stick and they will be actually beating these men and but the thing is you know, they just to protect they will all be actually they will come with this kind of shield what is the story behind they will actually keep on beating like what you see this is the lakshmar holi once lord krishna came to varshana to meet radharani and when he came he was teasing radharani and her friends and who in turn you know they really wanted to re- really take uh, take the defense and so they really taking you know ch- 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 chance back they were throwing you know they were picking up so much of flowers only not not any stones or anything you know they were picking flowers and then throwing on 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 krishna left and right left and right and then they were actually, actually pushing him out so that the way the enact is that the boys or men pretend to be like krishna and the ladies or girls pretend to be like gopis 
and beating or driving away Krishna. So this happens only in Barshana temple, I believe. So, Holi is all about exchanging love for each other. This is very important. And the root of this love, Prema, is from Sri Radha Rani. Sri Radha Krishna. So that, that's a divine love. So Krishna is the object of love. And, and, and Radha Rani is the Haladini Sakti, who is actually the, the full Mahabhav personified. And by celebrating Holi, we actually make an O that Radha Krishna or our soul, life and soul. Radha Krishna Pranamura, you know the video, I don't want to play that. So, Radha Krishna Pranamura, Yugala Kishore. Right. So many bhajans. So, so, so by singing about their pure love, we, are, we should sing bhajans and bhajans and bhajans to fill our souls for our satisfaction. And today, we want to introduce a new bhajan. This is about something about the quality of Krishna. It is all easy. It is about his desire. It is about his pleasure in hearing what? Kirtans. Sankitam. Sankitam means when you, you know, when you sing in nice notes and you know everyone is attracted. The deer, not deers, animals also get attracted. Birds get attracted. Not only us. Of course, these are all Bhagavan. So Bhagavan's trace is there as, as Jivatma. So Bhagavan by his, his nature he is the enjoyer of Sangeetam. So, he is a Sangeetam Priya. So, that means he is fond of bhajans and kirtans sung nicely. If you see the history, Lord Jagannath, you know, from you know, Jagannath Puri, when anyone is actually singing this, you know, the, the, especially Gita Govinda, Gita Govinda, when, when nicely, you know, anyone sings outside there and he comes out. Of course, inside also they do dance and sing and then, you know, Lord Jagannath really enjoys so much. But when it's not there and when somebody is singing outside, even in the middle of the night, what happens? Lord Jagannath, in, in his deity form, he just gets out and then, then hides in the, in the bush and then listen to that. There is also, also history. Actually, one is actually Prabhu was actually mentioning about, you know, he really came back in a, in a hurry to really get the, get the puja. But the thing was, there are so many, so many thorns and bushes and all the leaves, they all they were there. They were worried, what happened to Jagannath? Jag Jag Somebody came and they did all the things. And then, uh, then you know, they, they came to know, you know, actually Lord Jagannath really told in their dream that, yes, they, he really came out. So this is the Sangeeta Priya. So this Sangeeta Priya, what this means is, very simple bhajan actually. Oh Krishna, oh the one who has beautiful lotus like eyes. You are so fond of hearing melodious songs and bhajan Sangeetam. Your charming nectarian face attracts everyone's mind. You are the original Cupid who killed Madhu demon. Vrindavan Dham is your abode. You steal away the hearts and minds of all the Brajavasis. You are the one who was holding the Govardhan hill with your finger. You are Govinda and Lord Harihara. <laughs>
Okay, to thank you again. Holy, holy festival ki je, Gopi Bhajan ki je, Gauranga Mahaprabhu ki je, Radha Rani ki je, Sri Nandanandan Krishna ki je, Hare Krishna. All glory to Assembly what is Vanja Kalpa Tharu Chacha, Krupa Dundu Pya Vajja, Padita Ram Pava Ne Pya, Vaishna Ve Pya, Namo Namaha. Krishna, 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 Krishna.